Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome to Derail Valley Overhauled. This game might look familiar because we featured this a couple of months ago. It was a very different version back then though. I would classify this overhauled version, this recent update, major update, as an entirely new game now. My goodness, it's so good. So I've been testing it offline and I think I'm ready to do some basic stuff with you guys. But yes, it is a game slash simulator where you drive trains. And the main difference is, is it has an entirely built up economy for jobs, progression and all that stuff. And you can see me teleporting like this because it is actually done first and foremost for VR. So if you have a VR headset, you would be loving the immersion here. But thankfully, the developers didn't forget us uh, non-VR users, us PC guys, humble PC guys, and it works perfectly for us as well. So everybody wins. Anyway, let's go ahead and start things off. I will go and uh, jump. They have something nice. They Instead of calling this teleport, I think they started calling this dash. Yeah, more uh, realistic term for it. But yeah, as a VR user, it's kind of hard to run around probably. It makes more sense to teleport around like this to, or to dash around, I should say. But I went ahead and prepared some visual aids for you guys. To start things off, I made a guide for you. <laughs> Not really. Developers did. But let's go through it. All right, train driver basics. So we are a train driver and we look for jobs all across the world. And the jobs look like this. So as you can see, everything is VR oriented. You actually go inside the office. You actually pick up a paper. You read it. You drop it. You take it. You feed it into something. So I got a simple job for us to start things off. But that's how it looks. So you have a couple of different types of jobs. There are three main types. There's the freight hall. Let me use my pointer here. Freight hall shunting and logistical haul freight haul is simply taking cargo from one place to another you can see the, the entire map here from one place to another that's freight haul shunting is staying in the same station but moving cargo around loading and unloading them so working across the different platforms and logistical haul from what i understand is a combination of the two so you're hauling something from one station to another and when you arrive there, or maybe before you even leave, you have to shuffle things around in the platforms. Yeah, so that's the, I guess, the most advanced uh, type of job. And I guess that pays the most as well. Something along those lines. Loading, unloading cargo. Uh, we have fees, we have insurance. We will cover all of those as we progress through here. And we have licenses as well. So this is like the progression. You can buy more stuff get access to advanced stuff as you progress and earn more money and all the other things right but yes all right so i found a job for us to start things off and by the way you guys said you know if you like the music in the background i can always turn it off maybe later once we start the train i'll turn it off all right so i found this job here shunting yeah let's keep it basic uh there's a time bonus 12 minutes so that gives me an idea that 12 minutes is the like ideal time it takes to finish this job and that's very good because that helps me understand what i'm getting myself into if it's like an hour long job or 30 minutes or just 12 minutes like this one so if i like this it says unload and store a train with cat food and meat products so it says here that the stuff these trains came from the food factory all the way let's have a look at the map food factory is all the way there and made its way down to the harbor where we are right now and uh, we are going to unload them so it's here already in the harbor and we're just going to unload and store it i say only but this sometimes takes even more time than the freight hall depending on the complications so let's feed this into the job validator that gives us the job and i think the timer starts as soon as you submit it not so sure and then we get the details here so okay so we have a booklet of the uh, details of the job. Step one, couple the following cars at the station. So in the harbor station, C to I. This is where the tricky stuff happens. You have to learn how to read the map because there is this 
huge station map with all the stations across the world and we want in particular the harbor this purple one or we call it lavender and i already forgot you also have to have a good memory <laughs> apparently c2i okay c2i is okay we came from the house the station that's the stuff there the orange one and we go to c okay so let me orient myself that's the station that one is g because that one where i'm pointing at where i'm facing is g because that's where i delivered my previous job so c should be somewhere on the opposite side okay here all right c to i all right let's go and find it guys you guys help me out okay Let's go first and try to spot where it is. I hope I'm not totally lost. Okay, so C2I is probably here. Yeah, exactly. So the, uh, that's C. That's one S. This is C2I. All right. So this is probably what we need to take care of. Oh, nice trains. So we can compare that. CRF924. And yes, there's the proper damage and uh, at that proper damage system, you even hook up and uh, connect the trains. But although I think in this case, they are automatically connected for us. 550, 278. I'm just comparing the registration numbers of the trains here. 286. Okay, we have it complete. Even the colors are consistent with our job details. Good. So we found it. C2I. Now we have to fix the signs, the directions, so that our train goes here. Now, where is that? Here, okay. So we can either use this and modify that by hand. That's the wrong one though. I think we should, that was the correct one in the end. Or we can use our fancy remote. As you can see, everything is VR oriented and switch this from left to right. But in our case, actually, left is the correct one. So that should land us straight into C2I. Okay, good. Right now, we backtrack our steps. Where do we come from? Where's our train going to come from? Either here or there or everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, okay, let's go and trace this in. This is going nowhere. So let's go to the other side. Ah, here. Look at this, guys. We have all these trains, and initially we only have access to the shunter, this guy here, which is what we're going to drive today. But eventually, we can buy a license for the steam loco. I remember in the old version, we managed to uh, start driving this one, and I was so lost with all the steps required. But the ultimate goal is to have access to this huge diesel loco. DE6 that should allow us to really travel fast across the map but yeah first things first let's go and take this shunter now we do have this now I think this is new as well what do you call this thing this uh, turntable I'm not sure if that's what you call it but you get me is that correct now let's move it a bit more there are a couple of ways to move that you can also do it by hand like I think supposedly at least I saw it in the video anyway all right so we do this right here I go inside now there's a manual for this shunter but I've been driving this for a couple of hours now so I know the basics at least turn on the fuses start the engine and turn off the music so we can focus on the engine sounds I know everybody loves the engine sounds the fan, does anyone know what that fan is for? Is that fan for myself so I'm not too hot here? Or is that fan for the engine so it cools down? I'm thinking more the latter, but I'm not really familiar with trains so I need your help on that. Headlights, let's sound the horn. And all the different dials here, we'll go through them more as we go. This is the individual brake, let's release that. This is the, the brake for the ones including the trains i think the cars at the back okay that's good direction forward and off we go you have to be very careful here though because i've had a problem with this a couple of times already that i overshot and i derailed myself just by going off there at the end 
very clumsy prone. Okay, let's get the brakes here. Now, in terms of controls, you can use your mouse over here and use the scroll bar. Scroll up, scroll down to increase or decrease. Or there are also keyboard controls which you can map. Uh, let me show you. Keyboard controls. Uh, that one. And I'll also give a link to the Steam page for this one in case you want to give it a go. I highly recommend you do. Support the developers. They did a very good job at this. Alright, so that's the one. Keyboard and mouse. All the controls. But you can also, if you look at the note below... Yeah, they don't it's still in early access so it's not yet fully polished but yeah you can see there you can change the game preferences in e, that directory if you want to map your own key bindings it's not yet part of the game menus to change mapping but yeah it's up to you if you want okay so i think what we need here is to move that a bit to this side a bit more there we go, okay. So now the train is facing the right way there. Uh, Alright. Is it now? Uh, not really. Okay. Thank goodness we have dash. That way. And a little bit more. Uh, okay, I think that looks good. Is that good? Okay, great. So we trace here, and then we reverse. Okay, so we go through here, we reverse. Okay, we'll, we'll figure things out as we go. Yeah, map reading is an essential skill here because if you look at the station map, it doesn't really say where you are. But we are currently, we should point things to you, there on the turntable i'm going to call it turntable okay guys yeah, sorry if that's the wrong term but that's the closest thing for me <laughs> sounds like a dj thing all right release the brakes release the brakes and off we go safe speed limit here around the station is around 30 kilometers per hour i believe but we shouldn't be going above that all right so where we are right now is somewhere here if you look at the dot the center of the screen or we'll make our way through this junction stop and then reverse make our way back to station c uh, that's the plan all right so we're approaching the junction here and let me have a look at the job c to i and we're going to drop it off at b7 left b7 l rather delta 7 lima i'm not sure if trains use the same uh, aviation IKO alphabet uh, <laughs> pronunciation, but let's stick with that so it sounds funky. I love the sounds though, you can even peek your head out of this, and the sounds get louder. Super attention to detail. Right, let's get the brakes in. Let's go ahead and change that. Yeah, it's so immersive, guys. It's not just the train mechanics, but I love the speci specifically the the economy behind it. Right, this reverse direction and off we go on the opposite side. If you accelerate too fast, your wheels will start slipping, which you can circumvent by putting some sand in. But I try not to do that as much as possible because it's uh, expensive. Every do, everything you do here has a cost. If you operate your trains, leave it running, then the diesel will be continuously consumed, then you have to pay for that eventually. Sand, you have to fill out, uh, fill up, and uh, oil, and all that stuff, so it's a complicated thing, and uh, at the moment, I don't have a lot of money yet, so. Wait, 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 that has to be turning right, one sec. There we go. So we should be turning right there. And from there, I think it's good. So if I show you the station map, I think I can point things now. So we are right there. We are turning right on this junction. And then we they should be turning right again. And that should lead us into the station C. Yes, exactly. All right. Looks good guys. This is what we changed initially, the signs if you remember. 
Okay, there's the those are the cars that we need to haul. So here we are branching to the right on this junction here exactly and then to the left so we end up in the middle platform. Perfect. Are you guys sold yet on this game? Yes. <laughs> My goodness. So immersive, isn't it? And imagine this in VR. Well, I probably will get dizzy and not very acquainted with VR, but if you're a VR fan, my goodness. And you haven't seen the amazing part yet, that let me show you. If you're a trucking fan, a Euro truck, American truck fan, you know, one of the frustrations we had was we couldn't go outside a truck. Here, you can go outside a train. You can even teleport around. And, 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 you know how it is when you attach to a trailer and you hit a button? and you are coupling with the trailer well the trailer coupling here if that's the same term as in trains is a completely different experience let's go and break here it's not smash into the trailer because if you do there's going to be another corresponding cost for it let's do it very slowly Bloop. perfect wow that actually went very well okay let's put on the brakes here train brakes not the independent brakes and if I'm doing anything wrong you guys let me know because I'm not really familiar with trains as I mentioned okay trailer coupling double check that this is the job CRF 924 yeah that's the thing we checked look at this you don't just press a button you actually go under here and you go ahead and hook one of these you drag it imagine doing this in VR right super immersive and put that on the hook tighten the nuts that will give the correct spacing and then we connect the hoses and then uh, enable the valve so that the brakes the air pressure or whatnot don't ask me about the details work and that is how we couple trains here isn't that every trucker's dream <laughs> to actually connect the cables here in train in the real valley overhaul you can actually do it oh my goodness All right let's release the brakes double check that the brake pipe is increasing not even sure what that is i guess that's the yeah it looks like the pressure because it says bar right we go for the direction we start moving our train bit by bit even though we don't know yet where we're going b7 left delta 7 lima uh, station map so the d stations are okay we go straight we point it we are at C currently we go straight we turn right then we turn right go straight there to D all right that should be pretty straightforward but the question is once in D how do we find the right station so each of these letters would have their corresponding sub maps here that's B that's military base we have to go to D Delta yeah crane loading area D7 left right Delta 7 Lima so if we're coming from the north that's where we're coming from later that means we turn right and then right in terms of signals the rightmost one okay good that should be okay enough all right and we are taking all our trains with us we can even go out here and take a look they also added a player that free cam dev toggle so you can go and do your cinematic shots with pretty smooth panning movements i'm sure some of our our uh, very creative uh, members of the community will be able to do something with this cinematic um, sequences that's cool isn't it but for me i am happy enough with basic stuff <laughs> all right i can probably do do this faster uh, but first and foremost, one sec, before we forget anything, we have to turn right there. Good. And yes, you can derail yourself as the name of the game implies. Even a simple fact of like when you're here at the junction and you change the signal, some of your, your trains, your, uh, do you say, your cars will go left, some of them will go right, and the train will separate and get derailed in the process. That happened to me already. So if everything looks smooth here, this is because I've been driving for hours already, getting some practice. But yeah, I still have a lot to learn on this one, and it's amazing. <gasps> Wait a minute. 
I think we have to turn right here. Okay, that's good. It's not really for us. That one is for us though, this one. So we turn right on this junction. That's perfect. And then we turn right there again. Supposedly. Yeah, that's the one. So that one right there. Let me try and see if I can target it. I hope I'm doing this right. That one. Wait a minute, why is there another one there? Okay, let's see if I got this correctly. D7 left. Oh, I keep saying left because it's like runways. Left and right. Delta 7 Lima. Lima. Uh huh. Turn right here. That's probably the first dot right here. So that's the first one. We have to also do the second. The right. Where's my controller? Okay. That one. Okay. And exactly. That's D7 Lima. <laughs> D7L. Perfect. Wow. Things are working out smoothly so far, but I think I might have just jinxed it. So let's go ahead and go back to the uh, job here. It says unload cargo. Okay. So we par basically park here. We look for the terminal. There is going to be a terminal here somewhere. I have to find it though. We can start coasting here. I think we actually have to start braking. Anyone see it? Ah, there we go. That's the terminal. It's not the most obvious thing normally. Apply some brakes. So I guess if you have cars behind you attached you use this train brakes but if you're only the local then you use this indep independent brake is it yeah train brake independent brake that's how i understood it at least from my limited train experience but you guys let me know if i'm doing something wrong okay right so that's the one and then this is the un slash loader <laughs> for d7l uh and it says train in range and load perfect so it capture that train that we wanted to unload we unload it unloaded cat food and meat products and now it is fully unloaded so that would reflect with the weight here i think and normally the also the appearance would change because the the stuff would get unloaded but again we have box cars here so we don't really see what's inside might not be the best example but you can use your imagination okay next up we have unloaded. Next step is to uncouple. Now we go to Golf, to Sierra Station. And where is that? That's a good question. So that's where, so we load it, we unload it, and then we leave it somewhere. And right now it's saying go to Golf, G. Ah, yes, 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 okay. So I, I think I have an idea where this is. We're pretty close. Go reverse, remove the, release the brakes, and go back. We'll check that no one is in our backs there. Go faster. And while that's accelerating, I will multitask here. Also, do you guys notice the performance? It's super smooth. Much better performance, like leaps and bounds better performance than the older version. If I'm looking at my uh, utilization right now, actually I can show you. CPU utilization. Everything is balanced almost equally across all my threads. I have not seen many games do that, to be honest. And my GPU is not uh, maxed out, although there are still stutters. Still some room for improvement there, but yes, leaps and bounds better. Alright, so we go back here all the way because this is G, if I remember correctly. This one right here, the, in between these two buildings. And uh, if you go to the station, G, uh, Golf 2 Sierra, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Golf 2 Sierra, we're coming from the west. So that's left. Where's my train? My train might leave me behind. 
Let's stay, stay in here. We're not speeding, are we? No, we're not. Okay, good. Alright. So let's slow down here. And let's figure things out as we go. So Golf 2 Sierra is left, left, right. Okay, from the west. If that didn't make any sense, you can rewind the video a bit, pause it, and double check if I did something wrong. There's the control. So I should be able to stop here. Branch to the left side. Up, 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 up. No, 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 no. I always forget this. Change direction and go. My goodness, the sound's there, huh? Krishpunk EVR sounds. If you are familiar with the trucking world, you'll know who those guys are. Z-mod sounds, I should say. <laughs> so immersive. Also, we have these signs now, very uh, intuitive. That is the speed limit. That is the safe speed. And then those ones tell you if there's an intersection, if this is a level, if this goes down, uh, downhill or uphill. And then that one says speed limit is 30 on the left, 30 on the right. It's branching there. Uh, but uh, stop talking because we have to start moving. We turn left here, we turn left there, and uh, if I go and check the station, left, left, right, okay. And then we turn right on the last one there, I think. Two Sierra? Yes, exactly. There's someone there already though. Not sure how this works then. Yikes. Okay, that might be tricky. And the loco is here. Okay, one sec, one sec. Will this... I'm not sure if it will accept it. We might have to reverse and connect from the other side and then move these guys back. That might make more sense. Because right now we are in the middle. The loco is in the middle, squashed. But I mean, for the sake of the time bonus, I would want to finish the job as soon as possible. Even if the positioning isn't the best. We are inside already, so that should be okay, I think. Now, I'm also not sure if I need to uncouple this manually for the job to complete, but I always do, just to be on the safe side. So let's turn off the fan, turn off the cab lights, turn off the engine. Turn off the fuses, so we stop consuming diesel. And then we start the music again. And then we remove this. Maybe I should have turned off the valves first. Ooh, might be deadly. And uh, maybe not, I don't know. All right, remove the connection. Okay, we are free. Good. So with that done, let's double check the job. All right, and that's it. So to complete the job, we insert this booklet, we go back to the station here, and that's not the one. Oh my goodness, I'm lost. No, that's the one. The white building. Alright, did we make it in time? I doubt it, but we can always hope. Validate the job. It says complete, and then we get our money here. We get 3,640. Oh my goodness. <laughs> did we do it, guys? Did we get the time bonus? Um almost there 12 minutes time bonus we finished this in 23 minutes so it's just a smidge off next time we'll get it but you get the point right but yes as much as possible i would like the time bonus because it really gives you like thousands of extra money so here we have the summary of the job uh, all the stuff all the time it took us and then we have payment details. You see time bonus is zero. And no fees, nice. So if you manage to like crash into something, destroy some trains, or break too late and smash into some other cars, all of those expenses will be tracked here. And if you destroyed any of the trees, burned some forests, they will all be here. And you, you think I'm kidding, but that does actually can actually happen because you can hold tankers with fuel and they can explode. And those will be tracked as fees, which you can pay through here. Um, right now I have like 10,000 in fees, yikes. 
But thank goodness I have some kind of insurance. Well, I only need to co-pay 5,000 and that will answer all my insurance fees for me. And eventually that will allow me to buy licenses. You can see DE2, that's the shunter. DE6, that's the dream, the large diesel train. 200,000 we need to save. This one, the 282, that's the steam train. And we have other upgrades here allows you to take multiple jobs at the same time uh, drive a longer train length of train take hazmat materials take military jobs and all of these has corresponding uh, requirements there you can see here depending on the job it requires this one for requires hazmat 2 and long trains too wow goodness how long is that how many trains is that oh uh, one two three four more than ten maybe Wowzers. And yes, when you get the concurrent jobs, you can do multi-drops, take two jobs going to the same place, drop them off, and win. Yeah, so that's the extent, the basics of what this game can do. And we've only been staying at one station so far. Yeah, imagine once we get going to the other places, once we get going across the map. So stay tuned for more episodes. If you like this one, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you are aware. You get notified when I release a new episode. And yeah, looking forward to your comments and hope you guys enjoy this <clears throat> as much as I did. My goodness, this game has so much better than before. Can't wait to get into it more with you guys. Alright, so thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And... Uh, yeah, clumsy training. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.